Hello and welcome, my name is Javier Rivera and today on our DTF series we're going to be talking about the Epson XP15000 original cartridges, okay? Now, I like these cartridges better than the foam ones. Uh, the reason why is they do a better seal and then I don't have a problem with the foam. I'm going to be showing you guys the insides of these um, cartridges. Uh, so I'm going to open one to show you what's inside of them and I'm going to show you the proper way for me um, that I found on how to refill them. Um, there's people that have already uh, uh, pretty much a steps on how to do it and all that stuff, but I'm going to show you my personal way of doing it for two things. Number one, I can refill them, okay? And then number two, I can use a continuous ink tank on them. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. Um, also, you can use them on regular ink. However, I have not done that, so I don't know what is the availability of gray ink. I know that the red, um, you might be able to easy to find your yellows, your black, your cyan, your magentas and all that stuff. But the, uh, the red, I know you can find it. I just don't know about the gray. And honestly, I haven't done that much research into it because I'd use it for DTF. However, I'm not going to show you the continuous ink system. I'm going to, that's going to be another video. What I'm going to be doing is showing you how to properly um, remove all the ink, clean them out, drill them and prep them. That way you can refill them and keep using these or uh, later on you can add a continuous ink system to them. So without further ado, let's go ahead, let's get started. All right guys, so what we're going to show you is pretty much how these cartridges look on the inside. So this is an empty cartridge, okay? I'll remove the cap so you can actually see it. Um, there is a bag inside of here that is fully sealed, this metal plate and spring. Now, when it's fully um, out, like there's no ink on it, it'll be sucked all the way in. Now, the reason why I'm telling you that is because the way I want you guys to do these, um, they have to be either filled with ink or water or something before we drill them um, to be able to use them. So what we're going to do is pretty much we're going to grab it, okay? And I'm just going to fill it so you guys can see it. And there it is. All right, so they're all filled with water. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the stock cap. That way we don't have ink all over. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to drill right where it says either magenta, black, cyan, gray, yellow, to, you know, that's where we're going to be drilling them at. Now the size that I use for the drill bit is a 530 seconds. And now we're going to go back to the sink and I'm going to show you how to clean these now that there's a, a vent hole in them. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and just pretty much flush this out as much as we can, okay? So we're gonna push, um, we're gonna push water through the hole that we just drilled, okay? We're gonna push water through here and we're just gonna keep doing that until all the color, all the pigment is out, okay? I'm also gonna be using a syringe because now that I drill that hole, I can actually push a, push a, a syringe through that. And as you can see, there's no more ink coming out. So this cartridge is pretty much um, done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, push as much air as I can out of it to get all the water that is inside of it. And now I'm ready to fill them up. All right, guys, so now we're gonna fill them up. So now before I fill them up, um, let's, let's just do this. Oh my God, finally, right? Get rid of those chips. Since we got chipless software, we don't need them. Now, um, I have these, the, these little covers. They are from the actual cartridge uh, kit that come for it. Um, but since I'm not gonna be using them, this is what I'm gonna be using to cover this. Now you want to make sure that when you're filling them up um, that you do a little bit less than 15 milliliters. Um, that's how much it takes for this is actually 15 milliliters, but you want to be doing a little bit less. Now, I'm not going to be putting DTF ink yet. I'm going to have to clean them later and then put DTF ink. 
but I'm going to be putting is regular ink that way you guys that way I can actually um, test the printer and everything. And there you have it. That's how it looks. This right here is a vent port, so be careful with that vent port, okay? There you have it. So now I'm going to go ahead and install them on the printer. All right, so here's the end result. Um, these are the original um, Epson cartridges um, that I have removed them, and I actually did a port so I can refill them. I did them with regular ink because I wanted it to see how it performed and how it worked. I actually like them really good, so then I'm going to be um, cleaning them up and putting actual DTF ink on them. And then my next video is going to be to do a continuous ink while using these. That way I don't have to worry about this foam right here on these cartridges um, getting dry and having to prime them and do all that stuff. So, um, so that'll be the next video. So, so far, um, I'm going to be doing a couple of printhead cleanings. Um, so you guys can see, um, I use black on the gray too, so you can see it. And then I use magenta on the red so we can see it. So the only thing that I got to do is do a couple of printhead cleanings to, to pretty much get that spot out of the gray. Um, and again, this printer was, was, um, not being used for around three months. So actually for a printer that was not being used for three months, I am very happy with the results, um, and very minimal cleaning. I didn't remove the printhead. Um, so again, all I got to do is pretty much do this, is my, my second, um, print head cleaning. So I'm going to go ahead and just pretty much, um, do a couple more print head cleanings. And then after that, we should be good. So, so there you have it guys. A uh, couple of things, uh, reminder, I had already the caps for the foam kit, um, for those, for those uh, cartridges that come with foam, I already had those, um, filler caps and that's what I use. I like it. Is a 532 second, and also um, it allows me to just use them with regular ink, or I can add a continuous ink system later. Stay tuned for that video. Um, so that's why I picked that size, that 532 seconds. Um, however, if you don't, if you're not going to do a continuous ink, um, you could just you know drill a size for whatever rubber cap you're using for. Just make sure that rubber cap is it has a really good seal around it. You do not want air on it. There's already a vent port on it, which is on the side of that cartridge. You do not need more air. If you leave that open, you're going to have ink everywhere. Okay. It's just going to start pouring everywhere. Also, I don't recommend taping. So if you put tape over that, I don't recommend it. And the reason why is if you remove that label for the color, you will see that there's grooves on it. And if your tape is not making a good seal, again, you're going to have a lot of ink going into the cart into your printhead. So please be mindful of that. Okay. Um, however, it, it seals better than the foam cartridge. Um, I noticed that it has a better seal when you actually sit them in there. Um, they are not interchangeable. So make sure, remember that. Um, the groove, so your gray is gonna go on the gray slot and your magenta is gonna go on the magenta slot. They are not interchangeable. They're not like the foam ones. So just reminder on that one, okay? And the reason why I like them is I can use a continuous ink system on them and I don't have to purge it. So that foam is not going to get dry and I don't have to keep purging it or keep doing things to keep that foam um, wet because everybody that has those foam pieces, they'll don't know that they will start getting dry to the point that you're going to have to purge it. These you don't. So I really like them. Stay tuned for the continuous ink system that I'm going to be adding to them. This performing really well. Um, I already tried it with regular ink. It performed really well. I like it with DTF. I, I, I like the results. So anyway, if you like it, Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. You know, if don't forget to subscribe and again, stay tuned for my next video. Thank you for watching.